this is Shom Bira, Senior Consultant Optometrist from India. Today I am going to tell you about what is uveitis. Uveitis is swelling of the middle layer of the eye which is we called the uvea. It may occur from both infectious and non-infectious causes. The uvea supply blood to the retina. The retina is the light sensitive part of the eye that focus the image you see or we see and sends them to the, to the brain. Its normal rate due to its blood supply from the uvea. Uvea it is usually isn't serious. More severe can cause vision loss if it is not treated early. The following symptoms may occur in one or both eyes. First, severe redness in the eye. Second, pain. Third, dark floating spots in your vision. We call it floaters. Light sensitivity means photophobia. You can tolerate the light and blurring of vision. Now come to the point, what causes uveitis? The cause of uveitis is often unknown and frequently occurs in otherwise healthy, healthy people. It can sometimes be associated with another illness such as autoimmune disorder or an infection from a virus or bacteria. An autoimmune disease occurs when your immune systems attack a part of your body Autoimmune conditions that may be associated with uveitis include rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, psoriasis, arthritis, ulcerative colitis, Kawasaki disease, Crohn disease, and sarcoidosis. Infection are another cause of uveitis, including AIDS, means acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, herpes, CMB retinitis, syphilis. Toxoplasmosis, tuberculosis, or histoplasmosis. Other potential cause of uveitis include exposure to a toxin that penetrates the eye, bruising, injury, or any type of blunt trauma. How is uveitis diagnosed? Your eye specialist, also called ophthalmologist or optometrist, will examine your eye and take a complete health history. They may also order certain laboratory tests to rule out an infection or autoimmune disorder. Your eye specialist may refer to another specialist if they suspect an underlying causes is causing your uveitis. Now come to the point type of uveitis. There are many types of uveitis. Each type is classified by where the inflammation in occurs in the eye. First come to the point anterior uveitis, fault of the eye. Anterior uveitis is often referred to iritis because it affects the iris. The iris is the colored part of the eye near the front. Iritis is the most common type of uveitis and generally occur in healthy people. It can affect one eye or it may affect both eyes at once. Iritis is usually the last least serious type of uveitis. Now come to the point intermediate uveitis. Intermediate, intermediate uveitis involves in the middle part of the eye and is also called iridocyclitis. The word intermediate in the name refer to the location of the inflammation and not the severity of the inflammation. The middle part of the eye includes the pars plana which is the part of the eye between the iris and the choroid. The type of uveitis may occur in otherwise healthy people, but it has been linked to some autoimmune disease such as multiple sclerosis. Now come to the point for third point, third part, posterior uveitis. Posterior uveitis may also be referred to as choroiditis because it affects the choroid. The tissue and blood vessels of the choroid are important because they deliver blood to the back of the eye. This type of usually occurs in people with an infection from a virus, parasites or fungus. It can also occur in people with an autoimmune disease. Posterior uveitis tends to be more serious than anterior uveitis because it can cause scarring in the retina. The retina is a layer cell 
in the back of our eye. Posterior uveitis is the least common form of uveitis. And last, pan uveitis. It means all part of the eye. When the inflammation affects all major part of the eye, it's called pan uveitis. It often involves in a combination of features and symptoms for all three types of uveitis. The crucial point of this video, how is uveitis treated? Treatment for uveitis depends on the cause and the type of uveitis used. It's treated with eye drops. It, if uveitis is caused by another condition, treating that underlying condition may eliminate the uveitis. The goal of treatment is to reduce inflammation in the eye. Here are the common treatment options for each type of uveitis. Treatment for anterior uveitis or iritis including dark glasses, eye drops to dilate the pupil and reduce pain and steroid eye drops to reduce inflammation or irritation. Treatment of posterior uveitis may include steroids taken by month, injection around the eye and visit to an additional specialist to treat the infection or autoimmune disease. A body white bacterial infection is usually treated with antibiotics. Treatment for intermediate uveitis includes steroids eye drop and steroid taken by mouth. Severe case of uveitis may require drug that suppresses the immune system. No potential complication from uveitis. Untreated uveitis can lead to serious complications including cat cataract which is a clouding of the lens or cornea. Fluid in the retina, third glaucoma which is high pressure in the eye retinal detachment which is an emergency and a loss of vision post treatment recovery and outlook anterior uveitis will typically go away within a few days with treatment uveitis that affect the back of the eye or posterior uveitis typically heals more slowly than uveitis that affect the front of the eye replace a common sorry relapses are common <clears throat> Posterior uveitis due to another condition may last for months and can cause permanent vision damage. How can we prevent uveitis? Seeking proper treatment for an autoimmune disease or infection can help to prevent uveitis. Uveitis is otherwise healthy people is difficult to prevent since the cause is not unknown. Early detection and treatment are improved to reduce the risk of vision loss which can be permanent. So friends, this is all about UVATIS. If you people like my video, please like us, share us and subscribe us. Please stay safe, stay healthy. Bye. Sabake. Namaste.